Hi guys, it's Cinema Matt, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now, you probably wonder it, uh, once the, the zombie DLC have been released and you have it in your game, you venture into the forest and you see this thing, and you're like, hey, this is new, I don't recall this thing, and you see like a sign, and also you have the zombies, and you're kind of like wondering how I can get the zombies to work around, how I can force them to do gathering for me such as like the stone and trees and other stuff like that like maybe iron or coal or marble now the thing is the game won't exactly tell you how to get that thing and today i'm gonna show you how to get the tree up and running and how to do it, make the zombies transport basically unlimited amounts of wood back to your camp now keep in mind that i am after talking with gunter I have the technologies uh, about uh, building the zombie table, let me find it, there it is. Uh, I have the resurrection table unlocked and I have already one zombie working uh, at one of the workstations next to my house. The thing is, there are like a bunch of other question marks around this thing and you're probably like wondering, okay, what are those things and how is this thing related to the tree? Well, it's very simple. Once you spoke with Gunter, he'll tell you that north uh like north of your house on one of one of the rock piles one of you his brothers have been buried alive well <laughs> buried under alive let's put it this way so once you speak with him you can get to this rock formation over here and you can try to search it and the graveyard keeper will actually tell you that this is the place Gunter was talking about so you can begin by searching for one of the zombies found one then you work once again a little tiny bit on this thing and at some point you get like a bunch of blueprints literally tons of them so you have the salt mill you have the zombies uh, stone quarry right you have the zombie marble quarry right you have the zombie farm you have the random text generator uh, and like a bunch of other stuff so you also get one additional zombie now the thing is that this bugged for me once and i've managed to get two zombies from this point but apparently normally you get one additional zombie which is gonna be very fancy so you go back to the tree right you got the blueprints unlocked so i basically went ahead and i already unlocked myself the zombie logistics which allows you to have the portal station and also i went into the building section and i have here something called a uh, zombie wood cutting and basically you get those blueprints from the rock pile where you have found additional zombie and this thing allows you to start building a sawmill. Now the sawmill can be built next to the gigantic tree, right? So literally you have to use a little bit of flinch, a little bit of nails, and you have to need, well, you need to have additional one axe. So after that, you can try to build this thing and support is about to take a little bit of your energy. So that's fine. Uh, also, this is the way to get the other blueprints for the quarry, for the mine. Uh, so basically you need to check through the uh, like rook formation to get those things. Once you, that thing is done, you get this. You get this magnificent thing. So this is the way for you to receive unlimited uh, self-transporting logs back to your camp. You don't have to do anything after you build this thing. Well, you kinda need to do a thing or two. Basically, you need to grab one of the zombies and you need to put him next to the tree so he can begin his work right so as you can see the meter will fill up slowly and i'm saying super slowly but imagine this you will do stuff around you will plant you will explore you will build you improve your graveyard and the lumber will just keep coming on its own without you touching this thing whatsoever you wake up in the morning from your house you step outside it would see jerry bobby or whatever his name will be that you're gonna give to the zombie happily transporting you logs from your very own sub mill sounds awesome it does so basically you need to get one more zombie because one zombie is attached uh, to the sub mill so he will chop down the trees so now you need to actually get another one who will go there and he will transport the logs for you right so we're gonna take this one additional zombie that i have next to my house and we're gonna transport him back to the north to the south mill and we're gonna put him next to the uh, pottery station now apparently that thing is necessary for the quarry and maybe some other places but uh the thing i didn't know 
uh, the sub mill comes with already bullet one so and you do not need that thing just remember to avoid the bats like just saying <laughs> they're quite a nuisance over here so this is the like let's say it's uh transportation station whatever thing you need to put a zombie inside in order to transport the logs back from the wood camp uh next to your house so after you put a zombie inside you can try to modify the stuff that the zombie will carry now since this is the south mill its sole purpose is to deliver your logs okay you cannot transport anything else over here however if this thing would be in the quarry right from the quarry you can transport coal iron marble stone stone pieces uh like gigantic marble blocks uh gold and silver right you can transport all of those resources from the quarry uh so that's why the menu menu over there will be a little bit different as you can see this is literally the portal station which apparently came up uh automatically with the south mill apparently that's a fake now another good thing about the sub mill over here is that you can literally chop down the trees around you and you can also put the trees in the storage There's, nobody said that the zombie has to do it on its own you know he'll do this thing automatically he'll do it for free it's gonna take him some time but eventually he will do so let's assume that you want to speed up the process a little tiny bit you deliver some of the logs over here you drop the corpse your friend at the transport uh whatever station and now he will take the logs and he will manually well manually he will automatically walk back to your camp so that's like another thing if you don't feel like transporting the wood around your little house and delivering it to the storage there you want to do this like quite quick there are like other ways to quickly uh, cut down trees by the way I'm not gonna show them in this video though because we are focusing on the zombies uh, but yeah if you feel like it you can do exactly the thing that I just did. So chop down the trees by yourself, drop them uh, to the south mill like storage container thingy for the logs, drop a zombie to the transport station and allow him to transport the logs back to your house without any problem. And as you can know, transporting the gigantic logs can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So that's like an option as well. So after a while the zombie will come, he will drop a log and he will return back to the south mill where he's gonna pick up additional logs and he'll be doing this thing for all eternity or at least till your storage over here will be full with logs so i hope those things will help you guys around um if you guys have any other ideas what i could try to record and like you maybe have like a problem or you want me to make a guide on something else let me know in comments below because for now i think this is actually a good point to cut this video over here so i'm gonna leave it as is over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all. The next video.